Welcome to Selling on eBay, your full beginner's guide for 2023. After helping over 70,000 dropshippers in last year's video, this year I'm going to leave it all out on the table and teach you updated strategies and tactics on how to start your eBay store the right way and succeed with your online business. From dealing with account suspensions, working around flagged accounts, to the better side of it like finding the right products to sell, product research methods and strategies, and I'm also going to share with you some of the best selling products in this video, updated marketing methods, the best drop shipping suppliers to work with, automation, scaling, and so much bonus content that I'm going to throw in, like how to create a good eBay storefront and how to even use AI or artificial intelligence to make your store look even better for your online shoppers. So if you want to start your eBay store the right way for 2023, do not go anywhere because this video has it all. Quick intro and let's go. Welcome back to Selling on eBay, your full step-by-step -step tutorial guide for 2023. Now, one second before I get started, I want you guys to know that I created a cheat sheet with all of the links, all of the content that I'm going over in this video. Everything that you'll need will be in a bulleted list so that you'll have access to everything and it'll be easier for you to get started after watching this video. Now, if you want access to this cheat sheet, just leave a comment right below this video asking for the eBay dropshipping cheat sheet and I will send it to you. Along the way, you can also let me know what you thought about this video and if it helped you create your eBay business the right way. That being said, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you'll always learn about the next step in your e-commerce business with so many things that we have going on, including product research strategies, the best products to sell, case studies, success stories, full step-by-step -step tutorials, and so much more. So hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and let's get this show on the road. For those of you who are wondering what is dropshipping, I'm going to briefly go over this. Dropshipping is an online fulfillment model where you can simply have an online store and sell products without actually holding them in stock. As soon as you make a sale, you're going to order that product from your supplier's website and ship it directly to your shopper. This way, you don't have any physical contact with the product, you don't have to invest in inventory, so it is a very low risk business model that can yield high rewards when done the right way. That is a dropshipping business model. It's been working for years and years and it's just growing exponentially every year that passes. Now, on the other hand, we have eBay. eBay is a huge online marketplace that started as a place to hold auctions to sell things that you have around the house, host garage sales, auction up your items, and sell it to the highest bidder. But ever since then, it transformed into an online marketplace where people are not just selling secondhand items from their home, but they're also selling regular products in closed boxes and not just auctions, but also in fixed prices. Now, with almost 900 million visitors per month, this is an intent-based selling platform, meaning as soon as someone opens up eBay on their mobile phone or on their personal desktops, they open up eBay not because they want to learn something and not because they're trying to get help with their homework or getting their online business off the ground, they're coming to eBay because they want to purchase something. This means, in other words, that almost 900 million active users open eBay every day and they search for products that they want to purchase. Your job as the dropshipper is to sell the products that they are looking for and that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. So we've got a lot of organic traffic coming from eBay. As soon as we list an item, we don't have to market it in any way. If people are searching for that product, they're going to see that on their front page on eBay. They'll enter your listing and hopefully they will be your next customers. Now, eBay also has different regions like eBay Canada, eBay Australia, eBay UK, eBay USA and more. But in this video, I'm going to focus on eBay USA. Even though the competition there is kind of fierce, the buying power is also very, very fierce. So if we conduct product research the right way, we can, of course, practice these methods on other marketplaces and in other regions on eBay. So that's just a little something from the potential that we have when dropshipping on eBay. You list a product for sale and eBay is going to get you organic traffic to your listings because that's what their customers are here to do. They're here to buy. And as long as you're selling a product that people are looking to buy, they're going to make it to your listing. You won't have to pay a dime for them to see your store, to see your listing, and of course, proceed with the checkout process. Free Free organic traffic to your store listings is one of the best things that eBay has going on. It's very easy to start. You have a zero initial investment since, as I mentioned, you do not have to purchase any inventory up front and it doesn't cost any money to create an eBay store and start listing your first items. Today, eBay gives you a couple of hundred free listings for you to start off with so you don't have to pay a dime and you're only going to start paying business expenses like upgrading to store subscriptions so that you can list more only after you make sales and profit so that you can use use that profit to further escalate and upgrade your store. So it's very easy to start with a zero to very low startup investment. 
which of course is much different than running brick and mortar stores where you have to pay rental and you have to purchase inventory upfront. And if you don't make sales in your first few weeks or first few months, your business is simply going to suck up all of your money and you won't have anything left. So it's easy to start with a dropshipping business model, especially on marketplaces like eBay. The only thing is knowing how to do it the right way because eBay is sensitive today to new seller accounts. They wanna to get to know you first, but I'm gonna walk you through everything in this video. Now, some of the harder parts or the more challenging parts on eBay is that there is a lot of high competition, which I mentioned, especially in eBay US. Now, to everything, of course, there is a counter. So just like there is a high level of competition on eBay, we can counter that by simply selling more products that cater to our audiences. There are new products that are coming out all the time when we're working with the right dropshipping suppliers so we can beat our competitors to the competition when we have our eyes open and we are more focused than them. And of course, I'm going to go over that also in this video. So you have some competition, but you can easily overcome it with the right dropshipping suppliers and the right product research methods. You have a limited customization options, although eBay recently rolled out a storefront where you can completely optimize a storefront and make your eBay store look good for your online shoppers. And I'm gonna show you how you can optimize that, of course, here too. And it's hard to raise selling limits, especially when you're a dropshipper. And it doesn't matter if you're dropshipping from retail suppliers and wholesale suppliers, more info on that later. It's challenging to raise your selling limits once your account has been flagged. It will be very difficult to raise your selling limits at some point, but I will show you how you can overcome that challenge. But that is another thing to keep in mind. Now, in order to start the right way, we need to be familiar with eBay's dropshipping policies. Here's eBay's page on their dropshipping policy and what it states. Dropshipping, also known as product sourcing, is when you buy stock from a supplier and work with them to send items directly to your buyers without ever handling them yourself, just as I explained a couple minutes ago. Dropshipping, where you fulfill orders directly from a wholesale supplier, is allowed on eBay. Remember that if you use dropshipping, you're still responsible for the safe delivery of the item within that time frame stated in your listing and for the buyer's overall satisfaction with their purchase. I'm gonna go over that too in this video, especially how to create your business policies so that your buyers will know exactly what to expect and so that you will be able to do this the right way. However, listing an item on eBay and then purchasing the item from another retailer or marketplace that ships directly to your customer is not allowed on eBay. So what exactly does that mean? eBay does not appreciate using other retailers like Amazon to drop ship their products on eBay's platform. On the one hand, Amazon is a direct competitor of eBay and eBay simply has enough Amazon products on their platform. They're not looking for any more of that. So if you start a new account and you start dropshipping from places like Amazon right away, you are setting yourself up for an account suspension, which you may or may not be able to reinstate, but you don't want to get to that in the first place. So what does this actually mean? This means that eBay is suggesting that we work with wholesale dropshipping suppliers. Now you can find some of them by simply going to autods.com, clicking on suppliers on the top right here. And here you've got about 25 dropshipping suppliers that you can use with tens of millions of products that you can resell on your store today, but you do have to get to know them first. So a wholesale supplier, an example of that is CJ Dropshipping. They are a dropshipping friendly wholesale supplier that will help you not only sell good and trending products, but they'll also help you with product sourcing, print on demand and other things. That's just one wholesale supplier. There are more here, but this is just to get to know what the difference is between a wholesale supplier and a retail supplier. Now, does that mean that if you work with a retail supplier, eBay will completely ban your account and you won't be able to work on their platform? No, you still can, but they will flag your account, meaning you will be limited on your selling limits. You won't be able to upgrade them anymore and you will have limited traffic. Actually, it won't really be limited, but you won't make as much traffic as you made before your account got flagged. Now, it's not the end of the world to get your account flagged. My eBay stores have also been flagged, but once you have thousands and thousands of listings, it doesn't really matter because you're still going to make sales and profit. The more listings that you have, the better your product research, the more sales and profit you're going to make. So flagged or no flagged, you can still make a lot of profit here. But that is eBay's dropshipping policy and what it states. All right, now let's talk about product research. This part is really important and that's why I'm starting off this video talking about how to find the right products to sell. And I'm also going to share with you some of the best sellers that you should keep your eye on and start adding them right after watching this video. Okay, so product research. Obviously, if you're not selling the right product, no one is going to buy it and 
then everything else that you're doing doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter how beautiful your store is if you're not selling the right products. First sell the right products, then start working on your store. So let's learn how to find these products and then of course, how to sell them the right way. We're also gonna talk about profiting, break-even settings and all of that later down in this video. But right now, let's leave this section only to finding the best products to sell. So the first thing that I advise you guys to have is the product research dropshipping spreadsheet, as you can see right here. If you want access to this spreadsheet, I'm gonna leave that also in the cheat sheet. So leave a comment below this video asking for the eBay dropshipping cheat sheet. And of course, I will send it to you and that will also include the link to this product research spreadsheet. So what you're gonna do here is you're going to fill in all of the products that you're finding, including what the product is, the source URL, and then you're going to answer these questions. Are you passionate about this product? Is it hard to find in stores? Is it hard to guess the price? Is it safe to sell? After you answer all of these questions, you're going to narrow down your selection by removing the products where your answers were no and keeping only the ones where all of the answers were yes. This will help you narrow down the products that will have a much higher chance of selling on your stores. So use the product research spreadsheet when you are conducting product research. So what are some of the best product research methods to use today? Now, these methods are free. I'm not going to be talking about paid tools. I want you to start on a budget. I want to show you that you can start a successful store even while on a budget and still make sales. So the first free product research tool that you should use is the AutoDS all-in-one product research tool. This is included in the AutoDS system. You don't have to pay any money to use it. Let's see what it looks like. This is the product research tool. Now you have many smart filter options, like you can filter different categories, selling regions, suppliers, and so forth. But right now, let's just take a quick look at the products themselves. So you have all of these trending products. All of these are best sellers. And if I scroll down, you can see that we have different categories, like these products are new arrivals. New arrivals are great because not only are they trending, but they're also new. So you can actually start your own sales trend by keeping your eye on new arrivals. Now, every time you see a product that looks interesting to you, just hover over it and click import draft and that will import that product to the draft section of your store so that you can optimize it and of course publish it, have it go live on your store and start making those sales. If you want more info on that product, just click on it and you'll get more product information, including the item specifications, the shipping policies, the customer's product reviews, how many orders this product has and more. And as you can see right here, you've got trending dropshipping categories like toys and hobbies, home and garden. So if I click for example on home and garden, I'm only going to see products that are relevant to that category. Now the important thing to note here is that maybe by the time you're watching this video it already rolled out but we're going to add private dropshipping suppliers where they'll be able to upload their products to this marketplace and you the AutoDS member will have exclusive access to these products. This way you can easily outshine your competition, easily create new eBay accounts and start working with wholesale suppliers with dropshipping contracts right off the bat. And this is simply going to be a breakthrough for eBay sellers. Method number two, and it doesn't matter if you're an AutoDS member or not, this is absolutely free. Simply go to our blog page and scroll down to the categories and click on product finding and best sellers. In order to get to our blog page, just go to autods.com, hover over resources and click on dropshipping blog. Now, after I clicked on product finding and best sellers. Here I'm going to see all of the articles that have best selling products inside of them that you can use for your dropshipping stores. Now, remember with the dropshipping business model, you are going to sell products at a higher price than what you are purchasing them. And so when a customer purchases from your store, you're going to make the profit between the source price and the selling price. And with these products, you have high profit potential. So don't be afraid to make a good profit. We're going to talk about profitability soon, but let's see exactly what we have here on the blog page. After clicking on product finding and best sellers, I can see these articles, for example, the top 23 home decor products, the top 13 AliExpress niches and products if you're using AliExpress as your supplier, the top 10 in-demand products to dropship in December 2022. Of course, you're watching this video in 2023, so keep your eyes out for the 2023 articles. I'm also recording this video in 2023, but our blog page still has articles from 2022 since 2023 just got started. Enough talking about 20s and 20s. But in any case, let's just hop into one of these articles and see what we have inside. I want you to see the amount of value that we offer here and I guarantee you that no other place has this amount of content, this amount of value, and this amount of product data that is being offered to you completely for free. So check this out. First item, flower pendant necklace. Looks like a regular item, right? But when you see that this product is being sold for $89 and being bought for only $3, leaving this seller with a potential profit of over $80 for every time he sells it, you're gonna get a lot of inspiration 
from these product articles. Now, not only are you getting the stats, but you're also getting the data. So you can see his Facebook ad right here with all of his engagements. You have links to the Facebook ad, to the seller's website and to the supplier's website so that you'll see that all of the information of course is true. So here, for example, is his website selling it for $79, not including shipping. And then you'll find that same product right here at the supplier's website for just two to three dollars. So that is just one example of how you can learn from successful dropshippers who are marketing their products correctly, selling them and making substantial amounts of profits. And with these examples, you can truly understand that you don't only have to make one to two dollars profit per order, but you can actually make 50, 70, 100 dollars per order once you have a lot of product research information, resources, and of course, data. Let's take a look at one more example, this motorcycle half helmet right here, being sold for almost $55, being sourced for about half of that, about $25, leaving this seller with a potential profit of about $29 per transaction. So we have many examples like this and you can see that this seller's Facebook ad is viral with over 1,400 engagements, 220 comments, over 320,000 views. And guys, this is just a really small example. We also have those that got tens of thousands of engagements and views and making even more profit than this seller. But I'm just skimming through really quick just so that you can get a small example of the type of information that you're gonna get here. And here he is just buying it for $10 and another $13 shipping. So he's buying it for 23, selling it for 55, making his profit. And that is once again, just another very, small example of what you're going to learn right here. Last example, glowing moonstone necklace. Let's take a look. Being sold at $44 and being sourced at just $1.27. Guys, this is no joke. And they're not only selling these products and making $40 profit per transaction, but they're also successful at selling these products. Here he is right here, twinkling tree with that moonstone necklace. And right here, you can see 71,000 engagements, 10,000 likes, almost 10,000 comments, 10,000 shares, a very, very popular item with people who actually purchased it and they're writing their own reviews inside this ad post. And this gives you a small example of how trending this product is, how the seller is selling it for over $40, including shipping on his website, and how you can find that same exact product for just $1.24. This is crazy. And the amount of information that we're passing on on the product finding section of our blog page is going to get you the amount of insights that you would otherwise pay hundreds of dollars for other tools to give you the same amount of information and value. Tip number three, is the AutoDS Sell These Now YouTube playlist. So go to our YouTube channel, subscribe like I said, go to our playlist section and click on the Sell These Now playlist. Here you have many, many videos, as you can see right here, that are simply gonna show you the most trending products. So we have blog articles about it, we have videos about it. So if you're the type that likes to read, you can go to our blog. If you're the type that likes to watch, check out the YouTube channel. And if you're the type that likes both, then you are going to enjoy the advantages of both worlds. All of these videos have all of the product information inside with the links with everything that you need so go learn from there the next product research method consists of searching ebay for their best sellers what other dropshippers are able to sell well as well as searching your dropshipping suppliers websites to see their best sellers and then conduct the research on how those products are selling on ebay for other dropshippers now a good example for this i spoke about it in the last live q a session that i had last week and i'm going to leave a link to that in the cheat sheet and there you're going to see how i went to a supplier's website i took some best-selling products and then i searched for it on ebay only to find successful dropshippers who are selling it at a high profit margin and who are able to sell it. So there you have room to import those products or similar products to your stores and outshine your competition by selling more products relevant to those that are selling for you and for them and starting new product trends yourself. So I showed exactly how that works in the video and I'm gonna leave a link to that in the cheat sheet that I talked about under the product research section. Just click on the supplier slash eBay bestsellers link. Now, if all of those free and great product research methods are not enough, even though I've been using them with my over five years of drop shipping, here's another great tool that you can use once again, absolutely free to find best selling and trending drop shipping products. And now I'm talking about the AliExpress drop shipping center. Again, links to video tutorials on how to use the dropshipping center in the best way in our cheat sheet. So comment below if you want to see that file, but here's what the AliExpress dropshipping center looks like. And here you're simply going to get all of the best sellers all under one screen. And when you hover over a product like this baby safety kid anti-loss bracelet, you can see its sales history trend as well as the product's rating, how much it's sold and other product details. So I can simply continue hovering over these products and see what's trending well, especially this moon projection lamp right here, which as you can see, according 
according to the selling history, now is the best time to sell this product. Of course, you can click on it to get even more details and you can search from specific categories, price ranges and so forth. But the dropshipping center, once again, is going to get you some great product ideas that otherwise you wouldn't have been able to think of yourself. One important thing about product research, don't try to sell things off of a hunch. If you're trying to think by yourself what products might sell, you're not going to get very far with this method. Use these tools to help get insights and inspiration on what products you need to test out and sell. And one of the best things about the dropshipping business model is that you can keep testing products. And when you're testing and products don't work, you don't have to get them off the shelf because they didn't cost you any money. So you can simply remove them and add other products to your store, test them, and continue testing the market all the time. Now, once you start selling some products, your next strategy is to try to multiply your success by adding more products similar to those that are selling for you. But don't only do that. You need to continue testing the market on the other hand, test out new categories, new niches, and continue looking for new bestsellers. This way, you're always going to be able to scale your store and keep selling more and more as the weeks, months, and years go by. So the AliExpress Dropshipping Center is another great tool offered to us by AliExpress just so that they can help us make more sales as dropshippers. Now that is more than enough free product research tools that you should use for your eBay dropshipping stores to find your first best sellers and continue scaling your success from there. You can also use pay tools that do have some shortcuts and I'm not going to mention any pay tools in this video, but if you have a budget aside for that and you don't have the time for product research, which I highly suggest that you do find the time for it, you can also use pay tools to help you with that. But even if you do that, a good combination of pay tools and free tools is going to get you only that much further. So do put the time aside and try to do product research manually. Now enough time talking about what products we can sell and what strategies we can use to find products that will sell. What about what we cannot sell? Because we want to stay here for a long time. We're here for the long term. We don't want our accounts getting suspended. We don't want any lawsuits coming our way or anything like that. So you, we need to learn about what products we cannot sell on our stores. And for that, we have the eBay Vero, how to avoid copyright infringement on your dropshipping store. This basically explains that you cannot sell products that are trademarked, copyrighted, patented, and so forth. But even more than that, eBay has a Vero page and there they show hundreds of companies that do not allow you to resell their products. So you can go to their Vero page. We have a link to it inside our eBay Vero guide, which you have a link to again in the cheat sheet for this video. But in general, you shouldn't have to worry because if you're using a dropshipping tool like AutoDS, every time you import a product, the system has a database of tens of thousands of products that we cannot resell as dropshippers. So if we even try to import a product that we're not allowed to sell, we will get a warning message that this product is Vero for this and that reasons. And then we can choose whether we want to continue with the import process or leave that product out of our stores. But once again, if you want to learn about eBay Vero and get to know it the right way, just read our help article about it or of course watch the embedded video if you are the type that likes to watch. So learn about what you cannot sell and not just what you can sell. And don't worry that much because after you figure out what you cannot sell, you'll be able to easily spot these products when you are conducting your product research and it's going to be even easier for you to find the products that you can sell because there are more products that, that you can sell rather than products that you cannot sell. But with that extra layer of protection using AutoDS's Vero program, you won't really have that much to worry about. And now that you have a list of products that you're ready to sell, it's time to create our eBay account and get started. In order to do that, the first step, of course, is to head over to ebay.com and register for your free account if you haven't done so yet. Just click on register and fill in the basic information like your name, email, password, and proceed to creating your free account. Now, once you create your account, you'll be able to list your first item. But before that, eBay is going to want to get to know you first and also connect a payment method. The payment method is simply to be able to have payouts on your eBay account. And this is being done in one of two ways. In the past, eBay used to work with PayPal, but that contract ended and that's not happening anymore. So today there are two payout options or two payment options on eBay for you as a seller. The first is having your bank account linked directly directly with eBay and that will happen automatically if you live anywhere in the United States. But if you live outside the States, eBay is going to let you know that you have to connect with Payoneer. And Payoneer is simply a payment solutions provider that sits in the middle between eBay and your bank account. So what happens here is when a buyer purchases something from your store, then they're going to pay using credit card or PayPal or whatever they want. But eBay is going to hold on to that money for you and then they're going to send it to you in a payout using Payoneer or directly to your bank account. Once again, this depends on where you are. But right now I'm talking about Payoneer. So they're going to send you your payments to Payoneer. And then you're going to have to log into your Payoneer account and withdraw those funds to your bank account, at least withdraw the profits to your bank account. But you can also use the funds that you have in Payoneer to pay your dropshipping suppliers. You can opt for a Payoneer credit card, 
it's a virtual card that you can use to pay your suppliers, so it's just like a regular MasterCard, or you can also use it to top up your AutoDS balance. Now that is if you're using the automatic order solution, which I will talk about further down in the video. But in general, you have full video tutorials on how it works with Payoneer, including how to connect Payoneer to eBay Managed Payments, how to work with eBay's Managed Payments and Payoneer, and the AutoDS Wallet, a new feature to streamline your finances, all using Payoneer. The links to all of that is in the cheat sheet as you can see right here. Once again, request it below this video and you will get it. And these are the videos that you will need to watch here. So how to work with eBay's Managed Payments and Payoneer, how to connect it. So first, of course, you're going to have to connect it. Then you'll learn how to work with it. And then you'll also learn about the AutoDS Wallet where you can manage all of your Payoneer balance, even if you have multiple Payoneer accounts all under one page. Now, in order for Payoneer to work, you're going to have to create an account on Payoneer and eBay is going to walk you through the process when you create a new seller account. Now, Payoneer will go through a verification process with you and they're going to ask for things including a bank statement, a proof that you are who you are, for example, a driver's license, a passport ID, and proof that you do live where you state that you live. Now, once you pass all of that, remember that eBay and Payoneer need to have the same information. So your eBay account name should be similar to your Payoneer account name. Even if it doesn't, eBay is going to use Payoneer's information on your eBay account, but make sure that the details on your eBay account and Payoneer are relatively the same. Now, after you pass the verification with Payoneer, eBay will be able to start sending you your payouts. But even if you're still in the process of getting the verification process done with them, you can still get started with your eBay seller account. So sign up for a free eBay seller account, get started with Payoneer, create your account there and pass the verification process and list your first item to sell. Now, this part is important and a little tricky. So let's talk about how to list our first items the right way. And you want to be able to list your first item so that you'll be able to create your business policies and eBay will of course open up your seller hub which pretty much looks like this so you can go over your store overview go over your orders your listings market your store create your storefront check out your store performance go over the payments the payout dates and so forth and other options right here I'm just taking a look at the service metrics so you can just take this as a small example of the things that you're going to see on your seller hub so as you can see right here I've got 899 transactions and only six returns which comes out to 0.6 67% returns, which is really, really good. eBay right now places me right here at 0.67%, where the average peer or the average seller or dropshipper is usually around the 1% return range. So I'm doing a better job than them. And you can also, of course, do the same. But anyway, that's not what we're talking about now. The first thing that you're going to want to do is list an item for sell. For that, you're going to click on sell right here on the top right and eBay will take you to the create a listing page. Since I already have listings, I need to click on create a listing here. Then I'm going to go with single listing. Now, the first thing eBay is going to ask me is tell me what you're selling. So you're going to start off right here. Let's say it's a dog collar. Okay, you're going to start with that. Can you be more specific? So let's say dog collar for large dogs. Okay, then we're going to click on search. Now he's asking me, is it one of these items right here? Because if so, they're going to add it to a buy box and the cheapest seller from that buy box is mostly going to get the sales. But in this case, of course, you're not going to sell anything from here. And the best tip here is to start by selling products that you have at home. The reason for that is because if eBay marks you as a dropshipper right at the start when you create a new account where they only give you 10 items to list and only $500 in sales and in listings, you're not going to be able to make much sales if they limit you to only 10 products. And if they flag you as a dropshipper right from the start, you will not be able to upgrade your seller limits. This means that you're going to be stuck with only 10 items and you won't be able to make any sales and profit. So the first thing that you want to do is upgrade your selling limits as much as possible right off the bat. When you do that, you'll be able to call eBay, tell them to raise your limits, and the more you do that, the more limits are going to give you. And at the end of the day, the more you'll be able to sell. Now, once you have enough seller limits, then you can start drop shipping and start to make lots of sales and profits. So once again, before that, you're going to list an item manually. We have a full guide on how to do that, as you can see right here. And I'm going to leave a link to that, of course, in the cheat sheet. So look under listing. It's called how to list an item on eBay, the normal and fast automatic method. You're going to go with the normal method first. List items that you have from home. You don't even have to sell them. You can even list one item that you have from home, whether it's new or not, try to sell new products if you can, but if not, it's also good. And you can also raise the limit. So if eBay tells you, okay, you can only list 10 items, then the one item that you list, you can raise the quantity to 10 and that way your limits will fill up right away. Then get them on the phone, tell them, Hey eBay, I have so many more products that I need to sell. Please let me do so by upgrading my selling limits. Give me as many as you can, because I have so many things that I need to sell here. And then they're going to ask you some very basic questions like who you are, 
what's your business model. Let them know that you're just selling products from home. You can also tell them that you are drop shipping, but if they realize that you're drop shipping from a retailer, they're going to limit your account and you don't want that happening. And even after you tell them that you're drop shipping from a wholesaler, they're going to ask for a drop shipping contract and you won't be able to provide one right off the bat. So here, just let them know that you're selling products from home and really do that. So this way, where they're going to upgrade your limits every time they do that, get them on the phone again and let them know that you want to, them to raise your limits even some more. And the best way to do that is to read our article on eBay selling limits, how to check, get around and increase seller limits. This is what the article looks like. And of course you have a video explanation inside. So do whatever you want to do, read or watch, but you have a full explanation here, step-by-step, step, how to get eBay to raise your selling limits, all of the best ways to do it, but take my word for it, do it only on the phone because this way eBay does not keep records of how many times you tried and how many times you called them. And you'll also see my examples like this screenshot right here where they automatically increase my limits from 370 to 710, but that was a long time ago because this store has thousands and thousands of limits open now. And once again, this article is going to give you everything that you need to know. But do keep in mind, once you start dropshipping, whether from retailers or wholesalers, your account will get flagged, meaning you will not be able to raise your selling limits anymore. So take advantage of this in the best way possible before you start dropshipping. Once you have enough limits, the sky is the limit. Have fun with your sales and profiting. Okay, so that was a lot of info so far, and there's still so much more for you to learn. So let's take a deep breath while I calmly recap everything that we learned so far and everything that we still have coming up. So we know that eBay is an online marketplace that allows you to list items for sale. That much is pretty obvious. No marketing or a startup budget is required because it doesn't cost any money to create your account on eBay and start selling. When you create your account, you'll notice that eBay will give you a couple of hundred free listings to list on your store. So that doesn't cost you any money and you can keep switching those listings with other products until you find those that start to sell and slowly you'll start to scale your success from there. But up until now, we understand that it's a marketplace that will give us lots of free organic traffic and as long as we're selling something that someone is willing to buy we are going to make sales organically without having to spend a dime on marketing we know that the drop shipping business model allows us to list items from our suppliers to our ebay stores and sell them for a profit i'm also going to leave a link with a list of recommended drop shipping suppliers to use of course in that ebay cheat sheet so if you haven't done so leave a comment below this video and ask for that cheat sheet and along the way give me some feedback on this video if it helped you with your eBay business. Next, we all know that new eBay accounts are limited to listing slash selling up to 10 items or $500. This is what your starting seller limits should look like. So as you see right here, you can list 10 items or up to $500 and listing and selling is both the same. So you can list or sell up to $500 and 10 items per month. So if you list five items and you sold five items, five plus five equals 10, and that is your current selling limits for that month. But if you are selling products, eBay is going to increase your selling limits automatically or manually if you request it. Now, do keep in mind that your selling limits and your store subscription, how much listings you have on your store subscription are two different things. When you start a new eBay account, you won't have a store subscription. You're just gonna be a regular seller with no store, but you'll still be able to list items for sale. And those items for sale will have to comply with up to 10 items or $500 until you start increasing your limits. But besides that, once you start to scale your store and you wanna have more than a couple hundred listings, which of course you should have more than that, then you're going to have to subscribe to an eBay store. Now it starts really, really cheap. Let's take a look right here. You have the starter store, which is what you're starting off with as soon as you create a seller account or as soon as you create an account on eBay and start listing items for sale. So you're going to get up to 150 free listings from eBay. That means that until you want to pass 250 listings and list more, only then will you have to pay for a store subscription or insertion fees if you don't have a store subscription. So again, this gives you 250 items to test around and you can always remove them and add new ones because with the dropshipping business model, it's easy to keep testing and removing moving and retesting until you start finding best sellers. Now, once that happens, you're actually going to have some profit and you're going to use that profit to upgrade your store subscription to a basic store subscription, which is what comes next in line, which here eBay will allow you to list a thousand items. Now, what happens once you pass 250 items and you're still on the starter store, or if you're on the basic store and you passed a thousand items, then eBay is going to charge you an insertion fee for each listing. And as you can see right here, the insertion fee per listing after zero insertion fee, meaning after you used up all of your free listings under your store subscription, you're going to pay in this case 30 cents if you're on a starter store or 25 cents if you're on a basic store 
and so forth. And you pass your limits, that's how much you're gonna pay for each listing that passed the limit that you get. And that also shouldn't happen because for that we have an eBay insertion fee calculator. And of course I left a link to that in our cheat sheet. So if you look in the cheat sheet under payments, fees and subscriptions, you have a link called eBay insertion fee calculator. And here, you can easily calculate when is the best time to move to the next eBay store without having to spend more money than you need to on extra insertion fees. Now, why do you actually need this? Because in other words, if right now you have a starter store and you wanna have 300 listings instead of 250, and you know for each listing, you're going to pay another 30 cents. So let's make an easier example. Let's say you wanna have 251 listings. So that's just one listing above what you get, right? So that means that for that one listing, for the 251st listing, you're gonna have to pay a 30 cent insertion fee. Now, many people would think, okay, once I reach 250, I should upgrade to premium because I wanna get a thousand listings. But that's not exactly true because if you only spend 30 cents, for 251 listings, that's better than spending $28 or $22 on an, on an annual plan for the basic store. So the starter store costs only $5 or $8 on a non-annual plan. So it's better to pay $5.30 or $5.25 for 251 listings than to pay $22 and get a thousand listings, which we haven't used up yet. So there's always that sweet spot in the middle, which is the right time to move to the next eBay store. And with our eBay insertion fee calculator, you're gonna find out exactly when that time comes. Let me show you a quick example of how that works. Here's their insertion fee calculator and I'm on eBay US. Let's say that right now I have a starter store subscription, okay? And I have managed payments. In other words, I'm allowing Payoneer to manage my payments or eBay is connected to my bank account for managed payments. Now with the starter store, I wanna list 251 items. And lo and behold, our total cost for this is 30 cents because we get 250 for free and we're only gonna have to pay for that extra one. So of course 252 will give us 60 cents and so forth. So it's not time to move to the basic store yet, but once our total costs come up to how much it costs to have a basic store, which in this case, it's $22 on the annual plan, that's when we'll know that now is the time to move to the next store subscription. So for example, let's say we wanna have 500 listings, that's gonna cost us $75 on a starter plan. So that of course is not worth it. If we have 400 listings, we're gonna pay $45. If we have 300 listings, we're gonna pay about $15. And anywhere above that would probably be a good time. So 320 listings, you're pretty much paying for the same subscription that will give you 1,000 listings. So that would be a good time to upgrade your store subscription. So you have a link to this insertion fee calculator, which is 100% free to use on the cheat sheet that I will send to you if you comment below. And guys, of course, don't forget to like and share this video if you appreciate the value. All right, so let's continue. We know that we have our selling limits and we know that we have our store subscription. Now, even if we upgrade to a store subscription, like the basic where we have a thousand or the premium where we get 10,000 listings, that doesn't mean that we can list that many listings. Listings. That is because the store subscription is different from the eBay selling limits. We first need to make sure that we have enough eBay selling limits to be able to list the amount of products that we can in our store subscription. There's no point in paying for 10,000 listings when eBay, for example, only allows us right now to list a thousand on our seller limits. So make sure that you understand the difference between the two and upgrade your selling limits as much as possible. So that's regarding new eBay accounts and how to put up with seller limits and store subscriptions. Now we already talked about product research and I showed you guys the best product research methods that you can use to find trending items to sell on your stores and I also gave you a glimpse into some of the items that you should look into and start selling. Don't forget to put constant and non-stop hours into product research. This is probably one of the most important tasks that you'll have as an e-commerce store owner so always put down hours into product research. You'll never come to a point where you'll say okay that's enough product research. If you want to be here for the long term you need to sell the right products and that will come with product research. Okay that being said the next step once we have our eBay stores, we upgraded our limits, we listed items manually in order to upgrade our limits, we have our store subscriptions, now we're ready to start scaling. Now for this to happen, we need an automation tool. And here, of course, I'm gonna talk about none other than AutoDS. That allows you to have price and stock monitoring, meaning every time the prices change on my supplier's website, it's also gonna change on my store automatically and according to the changes on my supplier's website. Same thing for both price and stock. So when those statuses change, it will change accordingly on my store. And also you can automate all of your orders. So as soon as your orders come in, they can be automated and fulfilled for you automatically, including tracking number updates as soon as they're available 
available from the supplier's website. And we're going to talk about order automation soon, tracking conversions and all of that. And with AutoDS, you're also going to get so much more, including free eBay templates that I'm going to show you soon, a quick product importer where you can import one, tens, hundreds, or even thousands of products at once in just a click of a button, a price automation tool, customer service management, support for virtual assistants, over 25 dropshipping suppliers, and also private suppliers that only you will have exclusive access to, which will also help you avoid getting your account flagged on eBay, thus having more traffic, more sales, and more profits. But take my word for it, all of my eBay stores are flagged and I'm making lots of sales because my product research is on point. I've been doing this for years and you can also do the same. That is exactly what I'm trying to pass on to you in these videos. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about is eBay business policies because you need to know how to create your business policies the right way. Business policies includes your shipping policy, your payment policy, and your return policy. And this simply helps the buyer understand what your policies are regarding those things. So how fast are you going to ship? When is the item going to get delivered once the customer places the order? What are the return options? So can I return this product if I don't like it? And what are the payment options? That's pretty simple. It's eBay managed payment. So it's really easy to get that set up. Let me show you how that is done. But before we leave the next section, here are the limits on one of my eBay seller accounts. Currently you've listed or sold 1,083 items out of your 4,000 monthly limit. You can list or sell, notice, list or sell because it's both combined up to $53,000 more to reach your $130,000 monthly limit. And I'm only at mid month. So I still need to fill up my limits here. I have more work to do on this store. And that is why it's really important to make sure that you have a lot of selling limits so that you can list more items and get more sales. Now back to the business policies. So here are my business policies. And right now we're looking at the shipping policies. Okay, so let me give you an example of what my shipping policies look like. Or you know what, even better, let's just create a new one. So I'm going to click on create policy, then I'm going to create a shipping policy. Okay, give your shipping policy a name, you can also give it a description, nobody's going to see it except for you. Then you've got your domestic shipping. Now remember, when you're selling on eBay US or any other region for that matter, you want to work with drop shipping suppliers that can ship domestically so that your customers will get their products quickly. Nobody wants to wait two, three, four weeks to to get their items. We're not living 15 years ago anymore. Today, everyone wants to get their items right now as fast as possible. One week should be the longest that a customer should wait to get their package. Now that means that we need to work with domestic suppliers. So if we're targeting the US audience, we need to work with US suppliers. If we're targeting the UK audience, then we need to work with UK suppliers. In other words, suppliers who hold their stock in the same country of the audience that we are targeting. So here, for example, I'm going to walk you through a quick policy creation for the shipping policy. So domestic shipping, when I ship to the US, for example, flat, same cost to all buyers. Now in the services, you'll have a lot of options, but you don't want to choose something specific like USPS or FedEx, because if the tracking doesn't come out from that carrier, then you're going to have some trouble with the tracking info and also with your seller metrics on eBay. So here, for example, know how long it takes for your supplier to send the product out. Let's say you're using a supplier that ships relatively quickly to the US within a week. So in this example, you can go with standard shipping one to five business days. This this isn't the handling time, which is different than the shipping time. The shipping time is how long it will take the product to arrive once tracking information has been provided. So if it's going to take five days for that, you can use standard shipping one to five business days. Start with that and make sure that you are within your time frame. After that starts to work really well and you start to find suppliers who can ship really quickly to your audience, you can go with expedited shipping one to three business days. But once again, start with standard and don't use any carrier's name so that you won't have any trouble later on. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to go with standard standard shipping one to five business days and zero cost. We're going to offer free shipping. Even if your supplier is going to charge you for shipping on AutoDS, you have an option to include the shipping price inside your source price. So that means that even if you are paying for shipping, AutoDS will offer free shipping to your buyer and include the shipping price inside your source price. So whatever it is that you want to profit, you're still going to make the same amount of profit. Only here, the buyer will see free shipping, which is better. Then we've got handling time. So handling time is how fast it's going to take you to provide a tracking number once the order has been placed. So that of course depends on your supplier, how fast it takes them or how long it takes them to provide that tracking number. Start with three business days. Well, first know what your supplier does, but don't work, but try to not work with suppliers that take longer than that because we want eBay to push us up in the search results. So up to three business days is typical. Start with that and see that you are within your time frame. So three business days and one to five business days is great. Now in this video, I'm not going to talk about international shipping because that's a little bit more advanced, but let me know in the comments below if you still want to learn about it. And of course I will teach you. Okay. But in this case, no international shipping. And 
and exclude locations, we're going to exclude everything. So make sure that everything here is checked in because we want to ship only to where we stated, which is the United States. Okay, then we're going to click on save and that's it. You have your shipping policy. Now the return policy and payment policies, those are a little bit easier and I'm not going to go through it in this video. That was just a quick example of how that works. But of course, I'm not going to leave you empty handed because you have a link to eBay business policies, how to opt in and create policies for both US and China. So if you want to drop you from China or if you want to drop you from the US, of course, you're going to have to have different shipping and return policies. And this article will walk you through every step of the way, how to create those policies. And of course, there's also a video explanation embedded inside. And once again, everything that you need to know step by step is right inside this article provided in the cheat sheet that I will leave you when you comment below. So that is regarding eBay business policies. Now, once you create those policies and you import products through AutoDS, you can let the system know what is the default shipping payment and return policies to use for your listings. So this way you won't have to create policies each time and you'll simply be able to connect your listings with the right policies. Now I'm going to show you a quick example of how easy it is to import products from AutoDS to your dropshipping store in just a matter of seconds instead of manually doing it like how you've been doing it up until now. And then I'm going to show you the cool things like how to edit your storefront and use artificial intelligence to do that because this is the year for AI and of course additional bonus value coming right up. So let's see how we import our products really quickly. Head over to autods.com and register for your trial account. Once you're inside the system on the left side you're going to add your first store. I already did of course all of that so let me just continue with the import process. I'm going to click here on add products. Now I have a few options single product, multiple products, I can use the AutoDS finder and more. Multiple products allows you to enter product IDs right here and you can enter as much as you want and simply add them to your store in a click. The other way to do it is uploading a CSV file which you can get from the AutoDS extension. So go to Google, search for the AutoDS Chrome extension, download the extension and then you will be able to export CSV files on whole search terms. So for example, I'm here at Walmart. Let's search for dog collar. And let's say in this example, this, this niche is working really well for me and I simply want to add all of these dog collars that I see on this page. I don't want to click one by one and, and add the product IDs. I just want to add them all. So I'm going to click on the AutoDS extension right here on the bottom right. Click on extract. Now all of the 37 product IDs from this page got extracted into the small extension. Now I can move on to the next pages and keep adding more to the extract. Once I'm done, I'm going to click on export as CSV. And as you see, a CSV file was downloaded onto my computer. And that is that CSV file that I'm going to drag and drop right here. Okay, then all of those product IDs will get imported to my store in just a second. And those are some methods that you can use to import products really quickly to your stores. Now, of course, the product is going to get imported with all of the information from the supplier's website, including all of the images and the variations if you want them. And if you don't want that, then you can disable it in the settings, but you're going to get all the product descriptions and the titles and everything else. Let's just go with one product for now. Let's say that we want to test out this product right here. Okay, so I'm just going to hover over the URL copy it, head back to the AutoDS platform and paste the product right here. Okay, it already knows that the supplier here is Walmart, the region is the United States. So I'm just going to click on edit now quick and now I can completely edit the product and optimize it including the product's title, the description, I have a rich text editor and so much more. And this is simply where I can get really creative with my product, create a unique product page and make it different than my competitors. So here, for example, I've got the product's title. I've got product tags, which of course got added for me automatically, which is great because later on I can go to the product section and see all of my products. I can use the smart filtering system to see what tags have been selling well, analyze all of my product tags and see what's selling well all year long or in certain seasonal months and so forth. So this is going to help you analyze your products and it's all being automated for you. Okay, then you've got more options. You've got stock monitoring, price monitoring, automatic orders, and the product description, which of course you can completely customize. You can use the rich text editor right here to simply do everything and anything that you want with the product description, including the text format and the sizes and bulleted lists and all of that. And you've also got your templates. I'm going to go over that right after showing you this. Okay, so then you've got your variations. So this product only has one variation and that's what we're seeing right here. It's in stock. And if I click on the variation, then I can see more options like like the fees that we're paying here, how much profit we want to make. Of course, we can change everything, the selling price and all of that and more settings that you can see right here. Like we can round the cents to 0.97 and in the general more settings like the default quantity that you want, the weight, the dimensions and so forth. Next, you've got the products images. So all of the images that we see right here, of course, got imported in just a matter of seconds right here. Now you can change the main image and you've also got the 
the image editor tool. So I'm just gonna click on edit. And as you see, I got a rich image editing tool right here. And I can pretty much do a lot of things here like crop the image, add text, and do a whole bunch of things that I'm not gonna get into now. And of course, you've got your item specifications. So this is what was automated. Of course, I can add more. And once you're done, you're gonna click on save and import, and then it's gonna move from the drafts page to the products, meaning now it's gonna be live on my store and my customers can go and purchase it from that same minute. So that is how you import products quickly to your stores. And of course, you have more information on that, more in depth and into more detail on our website. So head over to autods.com and learn about our product importer feature. Now, how about those store templates? We all need a good store template in order to stand out with our product pages and simply make our product pages look better. The better it looks, the higher the chance that the customer is going to proceed with the checkout process. Of course, the item needs to be right, but after the item is right, if you know that it's in demand, if the customer is looking at the right product that he wants to buy, the next step is to be better than your competitors and not just simply have a black and white nothing theme. So with AutoDS, you're gonna get free themes that you can use. And if you wanna be completely unique, you can go to services like fiverr.com or upwork.com and buy cheap customized templates that a freelancer will create for you for just five to ten dollars which really it's quite a bargain but if you want to go with the free templates on AutoDS click on settings and you've got your templates right here okay I'm going to click on eBay templates and we've got all of these like non-stop China Black Friday Halloween sale best quality best prices Merry Christmas everything for your home improvement in just one place, Valentine's Day, and so forth. So you have all of these templates and you can always change it up using the smart filter system. So for example, if you got Christmas coming up and you've got 5,000 items in your store using one template and you wanna change it to the Christmas template, you can do that using the bulk item editor. I'm gonna show you some of those bulk options soon, but here are those templates and let's see what it looks like when we step inside. So let's go inside one of these. For example, let's go inside this Valentine's Day right here. I'm gonna click on preview and this is what the template will look like on your store. So you're going to have your products title right here. You're going to have the product image right here and the price right here. And as you scroll down, you're going to notice your new template. So here you can see a nice hover effect with links to your new arrivals, adding your store to their favorites, viewing your feedback, contacting, and again, the product's title, the product's description, and everything else that was pretty much automated for you. You didn't really have to do much. And you're going to get this template right here. And this is just one example. This is just one template. You can change, of course, edit the template, customize it, make it unique, make it your own. And once again, that is just one example. But you want to use these templates because it's free. It's included inside your package. And it's always great to take every step to give our customers the confidence that they need to proceed to the checkout process when they're in our online stores. Now, the next thing that I wanna show you is a free tool we created called the eBay Title Builder Tool. And that is pretty self-explanatory. That's what this tool is gonna to do. It's gonna help you generate the best title that you can for your eBay product listings. And why do we need such a good title? Not just to decorate our products and let our customers know that we know how to create cool titles, but because this is what's going to bring the customer to your listing in the first place. eBay's search engine optimization, or SEO in other words, is how good you can write a product title. When you write down your title and a customer opens up eBay, on an intent, of course, to buy something, he's gonna search for what he wants to buy. And if you can match what he's searching for with your eBay title, there's a much higher chance that you are going to be on first place or maybe even the first search result, which significantly increases your chance of making more sales. So for that, we're going to use the eBay Title Builder tool. And of course, I will leave a link to it in the cheat sheet. Okay, so what is this eBay Title Builder tool? How do we use it? Let me walk you through it really, really quickly. And the reason that I'm doing everything quickly is because this video is going on really, really long and I can continue for days and days and days. And you also have video explanations and text explanations in all of the links that I will include in the cheat sheet. But of course, do stay here in the video because I throw in so much more bonus value. Okay, let's create a quick title for our products. Let's go for that dog collar that we added from Walmart, okay? So let's go back to the title builder. And here you simply need to write what product it is that you're selling, what product you wanna create a title for. Just make sure on the left side that you've got the right marketplace selected. And if you wanna exclude any phrases, this is the place to write what phrases you want to exclude from your title. But in this case, I'm not gonna exclude any. And I'm simply going to write dog collar. Okay, maybe dog collar and leash because it's kind of like a combo set between them. So I'm gonna write dog collar and leash. Then I'm gonna create a search. Now the system is searching for the most search keywords 
those that have competition, less competition and more, and how many cells, what is the keyword strength for these, and how many cells it has, and what is the keyword strength, and so forth. So we already have results, let's take a look. So the keywords dog, collar, leash, we have about over 100,000 average searches per month. The competition is one, meaning the lower the competition, the more room we have to enter it, and how many cells per month. So this keyword sells about 1,500 times per month. Now let's take a look at the keywords that are ranking really well here. So one is heavy duty canine. So I guess that's for canine dogs, uh, duty canine military, canine military dog, military dog collar. So a lot of people are looking for keywords that have to do with military canine dogs. Okay, but that's not exactly the item that we're selling here. So let's continue down the list. Dog collar and leash, of course, is included. That is what we're selling. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on every keyword that makes sense. I'm going to click on that. And then what happens, it's going to add it to my title up here. This isn't my title on eBay, but I'm going to copy it and paste that into my eBay title on AutoDS. So dog collar leash is what we have so far. Let's continue. Collar, leash, handle. So people are also searching for the word handle and we have the handle right here on the leash. So let's also add the word handle. So dog collar, leash, handle. Let's continue. So we've got medium, large. So this is for the dog size. Let's see if we have the info right here. So we can see that the seller is selling it for small, medium, and large dogs. Okay, so let's add all three of them. Okay, so we've got small, medium, where was it? Handle, medium, large. So let's click on that and just change the word handle since we already have it right here. Change that to small. Okay, so we've got small, medium, and large. So I'm going to write the word for small, medium, and large dogs. And I'll also add an and over here because it's a, it's a dog collar and leash, okay, with a handle, but I'm not going to write the word with. So dog leash handle for small, medium, large dogs. Let's see if we got any other keywords. So buckle, we don't have a buckle here. It's not made of metal and we don't have any more keywords here. Now, in other search terms, you're gonna have pages and pages of keywords, but in this case, there isn't much because I guess there's not a lot of people who are selling a dog collar that also has a leash on it. So we're just gonna finish up the title. We still got about 25 more characters to go because we only filled in 55 out of 80 characters. So continue adding more words that are relevant. For example, what attributes does it have? We can see that the color here is gray, okay? Linen gray, so we can also add that, okay? We still have about 13 characters to go. The dog collar comes with a dog collar and a leash made of PVC fiber for all three sizes, medium, dog. Okay, so let me just fill in some words that make sense. For example, we can add the word with, which was missing. So dog and leash with handle. And here we can write more info on what it's made out of. So in this case, we had PVC fiber. We might not have enough room for all of it. PVC without fiber. We're just missing it by one character. So let's remove with, and now we have enough. Okay, so this is going to be the title for this. I'm gonna click on the copy to clipboard, then go back to the AutoDS system, open up that listing in the draft, hover over this and paste our new title. And that's how easy it is to create a converting product title for your eBay listings, which of course is very, very important, especially when selling in organic marketplaces like eBay that will simply get our products in front of our buyers when we write a good product title. Just make sure that everything that you're writing really corresponds to the product that you're selling because the product description and title needs to be 100% accurate to the product that you're selling. Now for this next part, we're going to optimize our eBay storefront. And this part is actually very exciting because I finally get to introduce the power of artificial intelligence, which is going to take the world by storm in the next several years. You don't have to take my word for it, but that is my hunch. Now today, a couple of really, really good AI services released to the public absolutely for free from a company called OpenAI. The first feature is called Dolly, and the second one is called ChatGPT, and soon I'm going to show you how you can use the services of this artificial intelligence to create a pretty good storefront for our stores. Now, you don't have to do it, and of course, there are many other ways that you can use, and I'm going to talk about some of them here, and you can choose whatever is good for you. Okay, so on your eBay seller dashboard, hover over store and click on edit store. And here, this is something relatively new that eBay just added. So today you have a storefront, which means you don't just have the regular template that we talked about, which is inside your product page, but now a customer, an online shopper on eBay, can click to view your whole storefront 
and then they're actually gonna see an online store. So it's kind of like having your own website, like on Shopify, Wix, WooCommerce, where you know you have a homepage and you're linking to like your bestseller, you're showcasing uh, product categories or featured products and things like that. So that is exactly what the storefront here is for. So let's dive into this and see what we can do here. Okay, so here I'm on a remote desktop connection to another one of my stores, so bear with me on the speed here. Okay, um, this is the store name right here. It's kind of blurred out. I'm sure that you guys can understand why, but the storefront here is completely blank. Okay, that's why I wanted to show this store here on the remote desktop. So here you can completely optimize your storefront. You can start by adding a billboard image and eBay says right here that you should add an image that's 1280 by 290 pixels up to 12 megabytes. Now there are many ways to get a billboard image absolutely for free. You can use the freelancer sites that I talked about to get someone to do it for you for anywhere between five to ten dollars, but you can also do it for free. So you can go to free stock image websites like pexels.com, unsplash.com and others that I can't really think about at the moment. But if you run a quick Google search for free stock images, then you're going to see those websites. Now, what you can do is search for the niche that you're looking for that you want to create or the niche that you're running on right now on eBay, search for that and get a good cover image to use. But here I wanna use the power of artificial intelligence. So let's see exactly what we can do here. So lo and behold, Dolly, this is one of OpenAI's features that allows you to create images better yet, this program is going to create images according to what we tell it that we want. So we're gonna write in text exactly what type of image we wanted to create for us. For example, let's say I'm creating a camping niche store. Now, for those of you who are wondering if you should have a niche store or a general store, you should definitely start with a general store, okay? So just use any general uh, billboard image for like online stores or anything that's, that's general, that's not, uh, narrowing down on a specific niche. And once you start to test out different categories and you find one that's selling really well all year long, then you can create a store on that niche. But if you don't know exactly what your niche is yet, just go with something very basic, something very general that any online shopper can interact with or you know feel that it is in place. Okay, so here for example, let's say, let's say we're going for the camping niche. So I'm gonna tell Dolly an image with people camping out in the woods, having a good, Time. Okay, now I'm gonna click on generate and let's see what artificial intelligence can create for me. Okay, there we go. So we already have some images that we can use. We've got four generated images right here. And all of these images is completely created by artificial intelligence. In other words, these people are not real. Everything that we're seeing is not real. It's just computer generated images. Okay, so these people don't actually exist. Um, they look kind of scary here, so I'm not going to use this image. Uh, this guy right here looks pretty cool. He's happy and he looks kind of real, except that one eye is a little bit on top of the other. These two in the back also having a good time. And these guys here roasting marshmallows behind a tent. And I think that this image is probably the most relevant, even though the cartoon characters here have weird faces. But hey guys, this is absolutely for free. I didn't have to pay money to use this. The only thing is it's not in the cover dimensions. It's not in the cover image dimensions. So we can use it as a profile picture because we also need to add a profile picture, which you can see right here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do in this example is let's use this as the profile. Okay, so I'm going to save this one. Okay, so I'm simply gonna save it onto my desktop and upload it right here in the profile image section. Okay, I'm not gonna do it now, but that is exactly how you do it. Now for the billboard image, we are going to use either the stock image websites that I talked about or a freelancer that will do it for you at a very low price. So that's your billboard image and your profile image. Next, you also need to tell your story. So here you need to add text about your store and this is where you need to get creative, but I do want you to try out artificial intelligence to help you create a good profile for your store. This is how we're gonna do that. So in this case, we're not using Dolly, we're going to use a program, a service called ChatGPT, which once again is a part of OpenAI, this amazing company who's finally helping artificial intelligence go public. So here in ChatGPT, you can tell it to do pretty much anything. I'm not gonna get into that now, into all of the options. It's completely crazy and mind boggling, but let's stay focused. We wanna tell a good story to our customers. So let's say that we're still with a camping store, okay? So I'm gonna tell ChatGPT exactly what I want it to do. So here it's write a, write a story background for a camping store. And it's just gonna take it less than a couple of seconds to think. Once upon a time in a small town nestled in the lush greens, in the lush green forest of the Pacific Northwest, there was a family owned camping store called The Outdoor Adventurer, which by the way, you can also use OpenAI to generate cool names for your store. The store was founded by a husband 
and, a, and wife team, Tom and Lucy, who were avid hikers and campers themselves. They had a passion for the great outdoors and wanted to share that passion with others by providing high quality gear and equipment for all types of outdoor activities. Now guys, this is unique text. If you copy and paste it into a plagiarism checker, you're going to see that this text is unique. There, it's not just copying and pasting from one website, but rather gathering information from millions and millions of sources and writing it into their own words. Okay, so anyway, I'm not gonna go into this whole thing now, but let's just go with the last paragraph. Today, the outdoor adventure is still going strong with Jake at the helm at his own children learning the ropes of the family business. It is a place where adventure seekers of all ages can come. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this text, and of course, you can completely revise it. You can change anything that you want here. I'm just gonna paste the text right here. And let's say, for example, you don't want Tom and Lucy, you wanna change those names. And you can also tell ChatGPT to make some revisions. Just take into consideration that this is still relatively new. It's actually working quite well, but it's still in beta testing and you know some things may not be as accurate. So make sure that you simply go over what it's writing and make any revisions that you need. Okay, we can't completely trust AI, but it can save you so much time and help you with your creativity skills. Now in this example, I'm going to remove it, but we exceeded a thousand characters. So what you can see for example, is tell ChatGPT is to keep it at a thousand characters. Even after he writes it, tell him to revise the text and make it only a thousand characters and other things that you want to change. But anyway, this is something that's really going to help you out along the way. You can even think of store names. So here I'm going to write generate five store name ideas for my online business in the camping niche. Camp Outfitters, The Camping Collective, Camping Heaven, Camp Life Company, and Wilderness Basics. Okay guys, this is just a small example of what you can do today with AI. So use that to your advantage and leverage your creativity when creating your store name, your store description, your images, and so forth. Now, more things that you can do here is adding a store video. In this example, I don't have any AI tool that can generate a video for you, but you can use videos from stock video websites that allow you to use that if, of course, it's relevant with your store. And store policies, so you don't have to do this, but you can add your store policies just to let the buyers know what your store policies are. And back to the staging part, instead of telling your story, so you can add featured categories, you can add featured listings. I'm not going to do it now, but just going over the options. You can use a marketing banner to let them know, hey, there's a big sale going on right now. And we're going to dive into marketing right after this part. And category preference. So what do you want to show? Do you want to show store categories, eBay categories, and so forth? Use the eBay storefront and create a really nice looking store for your business with the help of freelancers, with the help of free tools, and with the help of artificial intelligence. Another small bonus tip is you can use a tool called Vista Create, which is integrated inside eBay. And it's very similar to Canva, if you've heard about that before. So those are two platforms that are practically doing the same thing. Create catchy designs for your eBay store. And here you can simply get those profile images or cover images and also edit them on the fly and make them unique and make them your own. This is the easy way to do it and it's also pretty creative, but I really love where AI is going and I highly suggest that you guys at least use the chat GPT function to learn about new ways of doing things, new ways of explaining things and simply opening up your creative mind. Okay, but this is also a really good place to do it. So for example, this is pretty much the same as Canva. You can also go to canva.com and get more templates that you can work with. Here, for example, I'm just gonna click on one of them just so that you can see. I'm gonna click OK, close down all these pop-ups. Okay, this is a timeline creator right here. Let's just go with like, um, let's just go back, new design. Okay, and here I wanna go for eBay. So let's search formats for eBay. Okay, eBay store billboard, there we go. So this is what we're looking to create. Now I can just click on anything from here. Like let's say I'm gonna click on this vintage shop right here. Okay, and I can change the words around. Like let's say it's just an example, your camping shop, okay? So camping, we're gonna make this a little bit longer so we can add that G there, there we go. Okay, so camping shop, shop name, whatever the name is. So you can edit these things. You can edit the images. You can pretty much get super creative right here. Then when you're done, just download it. It's free to use and upload that as your store billboard image. Okay, so that's another way to do it. Just create a good billboard for your store. Make your store look good, but only do this after you have lots of products in your store so that you'll actually have something to showcase on your storefront. Now let's talk about marketing. There are many ways to market your eBay store. Now, I did tell you that you have free organic traffic, meaning you're gonna get traffic to your store anyway, but if you wanna get more traffic, you're going to have to market your store. Now, marketing doesn't always mean that you have to put a budget aside. There are multiple marketing methods to use on eBay, like promoted listing standard and promoted listings advanced. The difference between the two is that promoted listing standard is where you come out and tell eBay, hey eBay, I'm gonna give you 5% from every transaction price if you can promote this product and sell it through that promotion. And only after 
after you make a sell, only then will I have to owe you something. If you promoted my products, but none got sales, I owe you nothing. And that's what eBay is going to do. So the higher the percentage you give them, the more they're going to promote those products. And you can learn all about that, of course, using the provided links inside the cheat sheet. Under the marketing section, you'll have how to increase eBay sales top strategies and how to run an eBay PPC campaign with advanced promoted listings. So what I just mentioned is the marketing strategies under promoted listings. So here you're going to learn step by step how to get to it, how to run it, and how to even create an automation where every time you add new products, it's going to get added to that promoted listing right away right away automatically so that you won't have to do it every time from the beginning. And that is one way of doing it. You're only going to pay eBay that set percentage that you set and just make sure that you have enough profit. So if you're going to give them 5%, make sure that you have enough profit to cover that 5% and still make your profit on top of that. And the next way to do it is to create a coupon. So today you can create a coupon on eBay and you can send this coupon to people who bought from your store. You can send it to people who are watching your items. You can send it to anyone who enters your store. You can send it as a store newsletter. So it can be public, it can be private. There are many options with this. And once again, learn about it in the blog article. So this is another way to make more sales. Then you've got order discounts and volume pricing. Okay, so you're gonna learn more about that in the article, but order discounts means if you order more than one, we're gonna give you a discount. And same thing for volume pricing. If you order more than the quantity of one from an item listing, then you're gonna get like, for example, buy two, get 5% off, buy five units, get 15% off, and so forth. Next, you can also create a sell event. Okay, so all of these options are available on eBay and use the link in the cheat sheet to get to this article and learn step-by-step step how to utilize all of these marketing methods. But a sell event simply means that you're now running a huge sell on your store. Like let's say right now, we're about to enter Black Friday, even though we just ended it, but let's say we're about to enter Black Friday and you wanna run a 20% discount on all of your store for specific items or for all your items. So what you're gonna do is you're going to create a sell event and this simply lets buyers know that there's a huge sale going on in your store. And of course, eBay is gonna help the online shoppers know that your store is running this sales event right now. And that of course is going to increase the popularity of your store. Now, notice that all of these marketing methods that I'm talking about, has a zero upfront investment. You don't have to pay any marketing company or any service to bring you more sales. Only after you make a sale, you're going to pay whatever fee that you owe. For example, if you're using volume pricing and you're gonna tell the buyer buy two, get 5% off, then your price is that 5% off that you're gonna give him. And if you're using promoted listings, then it's whatever percentage you told eBay that you're gonna give them. The more you give them, the more they'll promote. But of course, the more it's gonna cost you only after you make a sale. Then you've got best offer and send offers, which again, doesn't cost you any money to use, doesn't cost you any money to run, and it will get you more sales. So best offer is when you simply include best offer in your listings. And sending offers means you can send offers to people who are watching your listings. So let me show you how both of those look on one of my stores. I'm going to go to the listing section of my store. So as you see right here, I've got 1,280 listings in the store and I've got best offer added to 1,211. Best offer means that a buyer can see my listing and send me an offer. Let me show you one example of how that looks like. Here's the item listing for one of the items that I'm selling on my store. And, and as you can see right here, the buyer can buy it now, add it to their cart, but they can also make an offer. And since I have enough profit margin, I don't mind if they send me an offer to two, three, five dollars below, I will accept it or I can send a counter offer a little bit higher and then we'll close the deal. But I make many sales using best offer. So make sure to utilize this too. Just go to the listing section of your store and click on best offer eligible. So how many listings do you have that are eligible to add best offers? highlight all of them, click on add best offer, and simply click once again on add best offer. Now all of those listings, the 18 listings that I just selected, now will have the best offer option inside them too. And the second one is sending offers. So this, as I explained, is for people who are watching your listings, people who added to their watching list, you can send them a discount. So I clicked on send offers. I got 15 listings that are eligible right now because I do this almost every day. So it takes time for it to refresh. Then I'm gonna click on all of the listings that are eligible and I'm gonna click on send offers. And let me just send my buyers right now a 5% off shipping. You can create a custom message. I usually leave it like this, allow counter offers, and you can also send a coupon for future purchases. I'm not gonna do that now, but just know that that's an option. Now I'm just gonna click on send. And now all of the buyers who watch those products just got a message from me through eBay that I'm gonna offer them a 5% discount if they purchase that product right now. Okay, so those are the free marketing methods that you can use where you don't have to pay upfront in order to market your products and make more sales. Then you've got promoted listings advanced which is relatively newer than all of the methods, all the free methods that I just went over. And here I'm not gonna go over it, but you can run pay-per-click ads on eBay 
meaning you're going to run an ad and all of the big companies today use PPC, Amazon, Google, YouTube, you name it. And now Facebook also supports PPC. So this means that you're going to create a pay-per-click campaign and I have a full video here showing you how I ran it on my store, what the conclusions are, the sales that I got, the keywords that I used, and of course the results and everything else. So you're gonna learn about that using the link in the cheat sheet, just comment right below that you want it and I will send it to you and you're gonna have all of this information, the whole article, the whole video, the whole step-by-step -step process. Just know that PPC is another really good way to learn what customers are searching for, what they wanna buy and which keywords that you're running are actually working as opposed to the ones that are not working so well. The only thing here is that you're actually going to pay eBay for every time someone clicks on your listing, even if they don't buy. So here, if you don't do a good job, if you don't learn it the right way, and if you don't test it correctly, you're going to end up spending more money than you're making, which could bring you a few steps back. But if you learn it the right way, using the content right here that I'm talking about, it's going to help you start in a much, much better position, and you will be able to run successful PPC campaigns as long, of course, as you're doing it the right way and you are selling products that people are looking to buy, at least more or less. Okay, so next we're gonna talk about order fulfillment. But before that, there's one thing that I haven't showed you yet, which is the smart product filter system. Not gonna dive into it too much, but this is what the products page looks like on AutoDS. And you have lots of different information, like what variations are in stock, what's out of stock, why it's out of stock if you hover over it, the product's price, how much variations you have, the profit that you're making, the suppliers that you're using, what stores it's connected to, what tags you're running there. But here you also have the smart filter system. So here I can say, okay, I only want you to show me the items that have a specific tag like we talked about. So show me only products that, that have a pets tag and let's just say that's it, okay? So I'm gonna click on done. And well, in this case, I don't have any because it's a demo account, but it will show you what products you have under that tag and, and more things. Like let's say I wanna create some bulk changes. So I'm going to highlight whatever products I wanna create bulk changes to, click on bulk edit. And here I can change the fees percentage, how much they cost, the additional profit in percentages, the additional profit in dollars and so forth. And of course you can bulk delete, you can add products in bulk. There's only so many things that you can do here. Now, another important topic that I wanna talk about before we move on to order automation is the eBay fees calculator. This is created so that you'll know exactly how to price your products, how much fees you're paying and how much profit you're gonna make at the end of the day when pricing your products during the import process. Okay, so here you've got the eBay fees calculator. Of course, the link is provided in the eBay dropshipping cheat sheet and here you're simply going to choose whatever category you're selling under. So let's say you're selling a watch, you're going to choose the jewelry and watches category, payment processor in this case is managed. And let's say you have an eBay store subscription, like you bought the starter store or the premium store. So I have a eBay store subscription. Let's say I'm not a top rated seller and I am an international seller. Now I wanna sell this product for $19.99. It costs me $9.99. Let's say I don't wanna charge shipping, it doesn't cost me shipping, and I'm not running any promotions on this product. In this case, buying a product for 10 and selling it for 20 on eBay is going to give me a total profit of almost $7. And here is my break even. So I usually set my break even between 15 to 20% because we're also paying source tax in some cases when purchasing from our suppliers. But this is how much profit you're gonna make. So this lets you know that you're in the green zone. You're fine, you're making profit, you can sell for this price and everything is fine. But if you're buying a product for $10 and you're selling it for $12.99, you're not gonna make that much profit. And if you promote this product, your profit is going to be break even or you might even lose some money. So make sure that you don't get super, super competitive. Do not be afraid to make some profit. I showed you in the beginning of this video how you can easily make lots of profits using the dropshipping business model without worrying about trying to undercut the whole competition and just being Mr. Super, super cheap. I'm going to invent the wheel by just being the cheapest store out there and good luck with your store. That's probably not gonna work out, okay? Now, order fulfillment. So as soon as an order comes in, you're gonna see it in the AutoDS system, okay? You're gonna see it right here in the order section. And here's the order screen. So here you're gonna see all of the products that you have orders on them and you need to fulfill them. So when an order comes in, it's gonna start in pending. And if you're using automatic orders, you can have them get sent to automatic orders as soon as they come in. Now we have two automatic order solution. One is called automatic orders and the other is called fulfilled by AutoDS. The difference between them is that automatic orders uses your buyer accounts to purchase the items from your supplier's websites and send it to the end customer. So it's gonna use your account on your supplier's website, your payment information, but everything will be automated. The order will 
will get sent out as soon as it comes in. Tracking information will get uploaded as soon as it's available from your supplier. And you can just sit back and relax and watch all of this happen. Fulfilled by AutoDS is pretty much the same, only here it's not using your buyer accounts, it uses AutoDS's buyer accounts. For example, if you're using Home Depot and they lock your buyer account after a while, you can use Fulfilled by AutoDS to fulfill your orders using AutoDS's buyer accounts. And this way you don't have to worry about your accounts getting locked and everything will still be completely automated. You just have to top up your balance right up here and that you can easily do using the AutoDS wallet that I talked about earlier today. So once you top up your balance, the system is gonna use that balance to purchase the product on your supplier's websites. And this works with all of our US suppliers who charge in a US dollar currency. Now every order, whether you're using Fulfilled by AutoDS or automatic orders is going to cost you one auto order credit. You can buy credits by clicking on buy credits, just choose the right package that's good for you. And that's pretty much it. Each one is gonna set you back about 10 to 20 to maybe 30 cents, depending on what package you're purchasing. And that's pretty much it. Have fun. Don't forget to profit a lot along the way. And even while you're traveling, even while you're sleeping, and even while you're spending time with your friends and family, your orders are getting automated, tracking information is being automated, and you just have to worry about product research and adding more best-selling products to your eBay stores. That is the wonderful thing when you combine dropshipping and automation the right way. Now, of course, you're gonna have the links to both Fulfilled by AutoDS and Automatic Orders in the cheat sheet. And if you don't wanna automate your orders, you can still process your orders manually. This simply means go to your supplier's website, add the product to your cart, check out and make sure that the supplier will ship to the buyer's address. However, once you make it to 5, 10, 15, 20, 50 orders per day, you're going to spend all day just manually processing your orders and you won't really be able to grow and scale your business on top of that. Okay, so that is where order automation comes in. And believe me, after you try it for a while, I'm sure that you won't wanna go back to manually processing them. Next is customer management. We have to be online with our buyers. We have to respond to any open cases, to any disputes, and we have to make sure that we're always answering all of our buyers as soon as we can. Now, if a buyer opens up a case, it's completely fine. If they open up an item not received case, you can simply upload tracking information to show that it did reach the destination and you will win those cases. If a buyer opens up uh, an item is defective case, then you'll have to provide them with a return label and they'll have to return the product. As soon as it returns to your supplier, you'll get a refund. And of course, you can also refund your buyer. In some cases, you may have to refund the buyer before you get the refund yourself. Depends on when they send the item out, how much time passed since the case has been opened, and of course, how fast your supplier provides refunds, but that is completely fine once you get the money ball rolling with orders and profits and automation. But in any case, whether it's a case or not, when a buyer reaches out, you're gonna wanna answer them. I've had many sales come in simply from buyers who are asking very simple questions about a certain product or about my services. So what I do here is I answer them as soon as I can. Now today in the AutoDS system, there's the customer support feature. Okay, it's right down here, customer support. And here you're gonna see all of your customers' messages under one screen. So even if you have multiple eBay stores and they're all connected to the system, then you're gonna see all of their messages under that one screen. Okay, it's gonna look something like this. Okay, I can show it to you on my account, but uh, everything is, <laughs> it's just pretty much gonna get blurred. But let me click on customer support. Okay, so here's all the messages that I'm sending to my buyers that they're sending to me. And I can just click on any one of them, okay, and see the messages content. And here, this is a message that, an automatic message that I sent to a buyer. So you can send automatic messages when using automatic orders, after an order gets sent out, when, it, when there's tracking information available, after the item was delivered. And so all of this can be completely customized and automated for you by the system. So this is the message, one of the messages that I send to my buyers after they purchase something from my store. So thank you for purchasing from our store. Your order is being processed and will be shipped soon, yada, yada, yada. And now if this was a message that they sent to me, then I can reply here, but I can't now because I can't reply to myself. And you can also create chat snippets. So if you have repetitive answers to repetitive questions, then you can just save them and load the snippet every time you want to use that answer. Okay, so this is a really good place to see all of your messages in one place, reply to them, and connect with your customers and make sure that you leave no one behind. The final thing that I wanna go over is the virtual assistant platform. This means that you can hire a virtual assistant to work on your store. So you can delegate access to them, create their users, give them access to exactly what part you want them to have access to on your store, and let them fire away. Now, if you wanna look for virtual assistants, let me know below this video and I will send you a link where we have a marketplace post on many virtual assistants that are looking for someone to hire them. And on the other hand, you'll also have a lot of people who are looking to hire virtual assistants. I'll connect you to that post. If you're looking for it, let me know in the comments below. 
But in any case, make sure that in your plans and add-ons, you have the option to give your team access to AutoDS to streamline your teamwork. So in other words, this is what's gonna enable virtual assistants. Then you'll go to users and you'll create your first virtual assistant, name, email, password, and exactly what parts of your store do you want them to have access to? Whether it's adding products, managing your orders, managing your drafts, importing products to some options, to all options, it's completely up to you. And this is a great way to have closure on dropshipping automation. Since AutoDS helps automate about 90% of your business, the virtual assistant can do the last five to 10% if you don't want to interact with your business at all. But before hiring virtual assistants, make sure that you know exactly how your business runs from A to Z, because you can't really teach someone how to manage your business if you don't know how to manage it yourself. Okay, so make sure that you know your business inside and out before hiring virtual assistants. Once again, let me know if you want the link to the marketplace post and I will send it to you. And that pretty much wraps up this video tutorial on how to start a successful eBay dropshipping business in 2023. I hope that you found this video informational. Once again, if you want access to the cheat sheet that has the perfect structure with all of the links that I talked about in this video that will help you understand what the next step is, where you need to start, how you need to finish, what you need to do in the middle. Everything is included inside this cheat sheet that I created especially for you. So once again, let me know in the comments below if you want it and I will send it to you. And don't forget to like and share this video if you appreciated the value. Join our Facebook community and our Discord channel where thousands of dropshippers help each other on a daily basis succeed with their business. And this video went on for long enough. If there's anything that you think that I missed out, let me also know in the comments below and I will help you with that too. And I really hope that this video is not only gonna help you gain the confidence that you need to start, but also give you the tools that you'll need to succeed, make those sales and profits, and then come back and let me know your success story in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Once again, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe if you appreciated the value in this video. Good luck with your eBay dropshipping businesses, and I'll see you in the next video.